Balade des Dames du Temps Jadis. Balade of the Ladies of Times Past. What I'm going to read you is a translation, sort of, of a poem written in Middle French in the 15th century by Francois Villon with the famous refrain, Mes eaux sont les neiges d'antan. Uh, that has been translated into many European languages. It's been translated a number of times into English, uh, most famously by Rossetti uh, with uh, the re re refrain, But where are the snows of yesteryear? Uh, and that refrain is one of the, uh, maybe one of the most quoted lines in English verse. Uh, a lot has happened since the 15th century. The poem has been translated in English, not only by Rossetti, but it's been translated by Americans and by Australians and by other Englishmen, and never so far as I know by a Canadian, and that void uh, is now to be filled. <laughs> now tell me where, in what far land, is pretty Pera, one of the train of girls that Roman Horace planned to make immortal? And where remain Wallace Simpson, Queen Anne Boleyn, on whom the eyes of Princess shone and Princess Diana again and again. But where are the snows that are gone? Where can be found to hold by the hand, to walk and talk in a leafy lane, the queens of the screen, the famous band, on TCM they entertain, Marlena, Marilyn, Jean, and Jane. And on a visit to Lac Saint-Jean, where is Maria Chapdelaine? But where are the snows that are gone? Where are Sappho and where George Sand? Where is the spinster we think had no stain, who wrote free verse, but still it scanned? To Marvel's lady we long to complain, and where is Virginia, tall like a crane, and others, the others, whose lives were drawn to finish in oceans, in lakes, and the Seine? But where are the snows that are gone? Prince, ask not for them in wind or rain, or any weather under the sun. Your answer is always the same refrain. Mais où sont les neiges d'antan? <laughs>